Welcome back. Let's take our loot home with us. So I think that's what we're going to start off by doing. Uh, I'm just going to check. I can't remember whether we picked up the fitness contraption. I think we did. Oh, did we not pick it up? Yeah, we did. Fitness contraption. I have no idea what that does. But um, we're going to use it. We're going to try and use it. If we can uh, get back in one piece. So I'm going to start. This episode's going to be a bit of a montage. I'm just going to pause in between what we're doing. Um, but basically I'm going to spend quite a lot of time leveling up fitness. And strength. And basically just eating. Um, and then we'll have a little pause for Christmas. Uh, we haven't managed to find any cake or eggs, well, any eggs yet, so we can't make cake, unfortunately. Um, I think we need a higher level of foraging. I think we need... Uh, I think we need foraging level 8 in order to be able to get the wild eggs. So that's quite a long way off. We'd have to do... Oh, God. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, the physics in this game. I'm sure it was fine. I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> I want to stay inside for a few days so that all of these zombies despawn more than anything else. It's uh, lagging the game just a little bit with all the corpses. And uh, the danger of me flying off the road is very high. So let's go ahead and get this stuff back. We'll get it unpacked and then we'll level up our fitness. Fitness and strength. Trip through the trees. Still haven't finished the driveway. Uh, uh, oh dear. I think that took out one of my headlights. I honestly don't know how we've survived this long. Okay, there we go. Back of base, lights off, engine out. It will be fine. Uh, let's pull everything out of here. And as much as we can out of here. Lots of small things. Ah, light. It's nice when your home is all lit up. Uh, we can take apart the two watches. Oh, no, we can't. We've got too much stuff on us. Of course we have. What have we got on us that we can drop? Uh, I'm just going to... I think I'll just pause while I unload the car. Okay, we're just finishing off sleeping here. And I think we're done. Getting to be about three degrees inside. Still got a little bit left to uh, to dump. I have put the TV down now. We have quite a lot of uh, videotapes. Uh, let's pop in these magazines that we picked up. I think we're full. Are we actually full on magazines? Oh, we are. <laughs> we need more space. Um... I guess we could put some of the books on the bookshelf. Keep the magazines in here. Don't use them as often as I should. Uh, we'll put some of the books on this first bookshelf. They're a little bit bigger. Uh, I want to check out the VHSs we've got. Ghoul Stoppers might, might seem like a good one. We do have the Cook Show. I'm not sure... I'm pretty sure we watched the Woodcraft one. Might be good to go to a video store. And then we can... Um, Maybe get some more skills from that. Some like cooking skills would be good. We'll get more nutrition from the food. Uh, we do have the farming volume three. I'm starting to build up a nice collection of books here. I'll pull out the duplicates at some point. Um, but putting level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, keep it organized. Uh, we do have some more pop for the fridge. Getting close to filling that fridge now. Painkillers and vitamins. Seems pretty good. Keeping the beef jerky on me. Everything's a bit of a mishmash in here still. I haven't quite worked out how I want to organise it. I might do a little bit of that now, actually. Let's go and pop this down another tile across. And then we'll pick up the sofa. Uh, no, put it in your main inventory. I always have the wrong one selected. There we go. And then if we drop this on this edge, yeah, here. There we go. And now I should be able to get the long table 
in the middle. Yeah. I can get the long table if I pick up this other table. So let's drop this like that, so it's in the, in the centre. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? And then if I drop this, one, two, one. Oh, did I do that wrong? Did I move it two spaces? <laughs> oh, was I going to put, I was going to put two long tables, that's what I was going to do. I was just wondering why I'm so confused. Okay. And then we'll pick up this dark rug, dark purple rug. Uh, let's cycle through, so we want to put this one here, and this one here, is that right? Oh, I still haven't done that right. Oh, I know what I've done wrong, okay. Pick up the table again. So the table goes there, and then we pick up this sofa we can only do one off now because we've got the silly round table and pick up the sofa and drop it here there we go we got there finally okay uh, we do have these two brown chairs I think we'll put those over by the bar uh, we could put them around this table actually maybe use this this quality crafted chair we'll put these around the table did put the plate on the table as well and the computer from before then if we drop this table this is just a quality crafted chair so we'll flip this one around like that and we'll get another one and we'll put it on the other side until we get something better and we should be able to pick up a lamp and pop this uh, maybe we'll pop it on the table like that I'm quite sure if the power reaches to here We'll find out soon enough. Yep, looks like the power does reach to there, so that's pretty cool. Now, these two chairs on the end, I think I'd like to move them just a little bit. Put one there and there. It's a bit better. And maybe we'll put this table between them. There we go. It's looking like a nice seated area. question is what do we do with the pinball machine and the computer? I think we need more rooms. We're running out of space in here and we do have a bed in the middle of the room that just doesn't fit at all. It'd be kind of nice to make a games room. I think the problem with the pinball machine is I can only put it facing that way or that way. Uh, we could put it in the corner of the room. It's un We can't actually do anything with it. It's just for kind of decoration. So maybe we just put it... Uh, we could put it in this corner. Pinball in the corner. Yeah, that's not too bad. Kind of hidden away there, but that's fine. What else? I think this rug is the wrong way round. Uh, let's pick up these chairs. These chairs are in the wrong position anyway. The problem with this rug is it, it doesn't sit neatly here, so I kind of want to pick this one up. Uh, let's pick up the chairs anyway, because they're in the way. Let's pick up these tiles. And let's place this down a little bit better. So I want one chair like here. And the other chair maybe facing. Like the book, the, the, the calm book corner. And then this would be... I guess we want more rug, more of this rug as well then. We're not going to have quite enough to fill the space. But that's okay. We'll put one bit there, one bit there one bit here and then we're missing the center parts but that's fine we can we can fill this in we're getting there okay let's get rid of the last things and see what else is left in the car we haven't got quite enough stuff to fill fill the house yet but we've got an idea of the stuff we want and every time we go out we can get a little bit more it's our cupboard with our jar lid it's just got <laughs> it's just got jars and jar lids I'm pretty sure we can pickle vegetables requires a jar lid. We can try it now, actually. We grab a jar and a jar lid. Uh, and a potato. Now, I think if we have vinegar, we can pickle. Can we pickle this? That's in container. Um, do, we ha do we actually have any vinegar? That's a good start, to be honest. 
Uh, we do have some vinegar. Let's grab one. Okay. Pickle vegetable. Maybe we can't do it because it's frozen. Let's leave that in our inventory for a moment and um, we'll see what happens with that. I think that might be... A fr oh, we've got the popsicle fridge and the fitness contraptions. Let's pull those out. And that's everything out of the car. Go ahead and drop our new popsicle fridge down. So we've got a backup fridge. Going to pop it here. That completes the... Uh, oh, no, not quite. This one. Oh, is there a gap between them? I'm just That's no gap, right? Yeah, there's no gap between them. Um, but that completes our kind of storage room. Double... Uh, double uh, ice machines. Or ice freezers. And they're the biggest freezers in the game, so... Uh, don't need this bottle. For some reason, we've just got another empty one. We've got a spare water bottle in here. We do have the fitness contraption. Let's pull that out and see what it looks like. Okay. Um, that's interesting. I wonder if we can place it... Uh, let's place it in the hallway for now. I guess we can pick it back up again. I don't want to face it. I guess I can't face it that way. Let's face it that way then. Can we actually use it? Doesn't look like it. I want to make a gym at some point, so... Uh, let's pick up the barbell. It's kind of heavy. Now, can we use it now? No. Okay. That is just for show, but we can drop the barbell here. This is where we'll do our exercise then. We'll pretend like we're using it, even though it's <laughs> even though we're not. And we'll pick up the three dumbbells that are on the floor. Now, we did pick up a paintbrush as well. Pick up a paintbrush. It's quite hard to say. Uh, let's drop the dumbbells. Uh, I'd like to have a quick look at the paint that we've got. And see how many, see how much of the walls we can cover in it. We do have two paintbrushes. We'll pick up them both. And then I think we put paint, I think paint's in this one. Uh, so we can put in the container. Oh, we can't. It's absolutely chocker. So we've got two light blues. Um, green, I think, would be quite good for the kitchen. Let's let's take the green paint and see if we can paint part of the kitchen. And we'll take one of the paintbrushes. You know, it's never... It's so hard to pick up one of things. Okay, there we go. Green paint. Can we just paint the wall? Oh, we can paint a sign. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've ever painted anything before. Green. Green. Okay, so if we paint this wall, does it have to be green on both sides? Or is it just green here? Uh, let's experiment with that. I guess. Uh, let's try... Oh, we can paint the cabinets. That's like le that's letting me paint the um, the cabinets green. Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, let's go ahead and paint. Oh, it's going to paint from the other side, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's just paint this bit green. And it turned out more like <laughs> more turquoise than green. Okay. Well, we're kind of stuck with it now. So let's see if we can paint behind all of these cupboards without actually having to move any of them that would be great I think it's going to paint both sides isn't it how much paint does that even use okay that uses quite a bit of the paint we are going to run out where are you going you're going to paint from here are you Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that worked. Uh, let's try from this side then. Why do? You... Oh, I can't do it. No way I can see like what the wall color is on this side. I guess we're gonna run all the way around to do that. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. 
Well, we'll just we'll just paint where we can. <laughs> Are you gonna walk all the way? Oh. This isn't working as well as I hoped. Okay, that doesn't look like it worked at all. And I think it just consumes paint. Let's try painting behind here. Okay, let's not paint this room green. I'm going to give up on that for the moment. It's uh, very frustrating and I think we're going to have to move everything out to do it. Kind of makes sense, but come on game. Um, let's try some yellow paint. Let's pick up the two yellows. And let's paint the inside of the garage yellow. Now I wonder if that paints the other wall of the kitchen. I guess it doesn't matter because we'll never see that side anyway, so... Yeah, nice bright yellow. Kind of looks like brown, but sure. There's just stuff in the way. Wherever I try and paint, there's things in the way. Probably should have done this before. Not really down to move too much of it right now. I guess that looks a little bit better. I don't think we can get at this wall. Just do what we can. We can paint this wall, I think. We'll get, be able to get some of this one at least. That we can paint the box yellow. That's quite cool, actually. Um, we can color code our boxes. Oh, wait, yeah. Thought I'd painted the box then for a second. Don't actually want to do that yet. Okay, so we've got two empty paint buckets. Um, I don't know if we want to keep those or not. We'll go and pop them outside anyway. It did snow. It looks like our, our tomatoes might be ready. Got the paint buckets on the floor. I'm sure they'll fill up. Oh, we do have the potato now. Can we put this in a jar with the vinegar? I don't know how to do it. Okay. Uh, it looks like the tomatoes are seed-bearing tomatoes, so they're ready to harvest. We do have the farming skill book, so... Wait, stop. Stop skipping time. Harvest. There we go. That means we'll just get seeds, but that's fine. We're still getting quite a lot of tomatoes, even if you let them go to seed, to be honest. The strawberry plants. Strawberry plants not doing so well. This one's receding. Uh, looks like its health is really bad and it's got no water. Um, I don't know quite why it didn't get any water. Last watered 43 hours. Last watered 43 hours, but it's got zero. So it's got 92. For some reason, this one didn't get any water. I'm not going to worry about it too much. We've got 62 tomatoes. Can we pickle these? I really want to pickle something. How do I... Quit primary. Nope. Nope. I just, I just can't do it. Okay. Oh, let's eat some of our tomatoes anyway. Lovely, fresh, juicy tomatoes from the garden. Here we go ourselves. Uh, we'll pop the seeds away. Uh, we'll try pickling another day then. It's clearly not working for whatever reason. Uh, I don't think we have any tomatoes yet, so we'll use this this freezer to store tomatoes. Get them all in there. Uh, we'll keep the potato on us, we'll just eat it, might as well. And uh, we'll pop the vinegar back away. Along with our jar. Uh, I need to get the axe out to get the jar back, because we're using it as a weapon right now. There we go. And we've just got the hammer back in hand, which we don't need on us. Well, it's looking a little bit nicer out here. So what other paint have we got? We used the two yellows. We've got a light brown paint. 
I guess we could use um, the brown for the outside. We've got a blue paint we can use for the main room. Uh, let's go ahead and take the brown paint and we'll do the outside as well. So inside here, yellow, green for the kitchen. And the outside of the building can be brown, but we'll do it dark brown. Paint brown. Looks pretty good. It's like a proper house. I guess we'll get this wall as well. We'll just do as much as the paint can allows. We don't have a huge amount of paint. We'll just have to collect more in the world as we explore. I think that was all of it. Empty paint. Okay. And then we'll do this room blue. We're not going to be able to paint much of this, this room because there's so many things in the way. But I'll do my best to just paint the corner. That's quite nice blue. I guess we can paint the chair. Why Why are you going all the way around? Just, yeah, fine. I'm just going to paint paint the walls I can. It's going to look like a, a massive mismatch. That matches the sofa kind of if I do it as a... <laughs> if I don't do it um, on every wall. We don't have enough paint to do the whole room anyway, so... I think it's like... Five... One, two, three... It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was like 15 we can do or something. Not a huge amount. Uh, we can probably do this one. Maybe this one. Maybe yeah, we can do those. I think it's like 10, 12 or something we get per, per bucket. And it's really coming together anyway. We've got a little bit of paint on the walls. Now that we have a paintbrush. More empty paint buckets. What other colours do we have? Uh, we've got the light blue. Might save that for upstairs. We've got the light brown and the orange and the green. We'll put the empty buckets. Uh, I'll put them back outside actually with the rest of the buckets. And I'll put the paintbrush back in here. Paintbrush inside. Okay. Drop these on the floor. Uh, pick up the hand axe and attach that to our belt, right? For whatever reason, we took that off. Looks like the strawberries are going to fail, but we probably planted them in the wrong season, and I really haven't taken that much care of the vegetables, so I'm not surprised. And now comes the intense training. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take off my backpack for the first time in a very long time, and we'll just place it on this, this table here. This is where you live now. And we will pop into here. Uh, I think everything else we can keep on us, actually. And we'll go and get a bag for our clothes. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we'll just drop them on the floor, it's fine. I'm going to do some working out, but I don't want to overheat. So... I think if we strip down to, let's take off the firefighter jacket and maybe the winter hat. It's about 12 degrees in here. Now our shirt is damaged. Military camo should be fine. Dirty and wet. Uh, don't need the scarf on if we're doing this. Let's check our temperature levels. So normal, normal, normal. There's our insulation. So medium medium there high on the legs what have we got we could take the socks off I suppose there we go and the shoes are quite high as well um, we do have some trainers I think we picked up we'll swap into our trainers let's have a quick look do we have some trainers we picked up oh, I might not have picked them up Boots. Just got the coloured party hat. Okay, I don't think we do. That's fine. That should be fine. 
Uh, maybe we can take our gloves off as well. We can use them while we're doing the weights. Anyway, what I'd like to do is go to health and exercise. And if we pick up our barbell. Okay, so we do have a barbell. So maybe I need to reopen this menu. Exercise barbell curls. Improve strength when performed regularly. Exercise fatigue will be felt on arms, reducing combat capabilities. That seems fine by me. Let's go exercise. This should get us a lot of strength. So I'd like to get to strength level 8. So we're at 42544. Four. And now we're at 428. So we've got about 300 XP from that. Um... So it's going to take like 10, 10, 11, 11 sessions. But that's okay. So all we do for this is we now sit on the ground and we wait. We wait until we don't have exertion anymore. And then we, we just do it again. Um, this part of the game is a little bit broken, but, but if you're just planning on exercising, um, you can just keep doing this. Looks like our temperature remains steady. Let's sit on the ground. And obviously, as regularity goes up, we'll be able to do it for longer. Uh, we'll be able to do it without getting so exerted. Now, our weight will go down and we'll have to eat more while we do this. But we should just be able to wait for a long time in between sessions. We're getting a little bit cold now. Five degrees. Obviously, we're not very happy about it, but uh, I think we'll go to sleep here. Can we use this as a weapon? Oh my god, we can use this as a weapon. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, it's incredibly slow. Anyway, let's go to sleep. We'll continue this in the morning. Uh, we are pretty cold. I think we may need to... Uh, we may need to move the bed to the other room and have the fire running. It's only 2.8 degrees in there. See, so we're going to get warm by moving. Yeah, we're in minor pain now, so all we have to do is go and get some painkillers. Uh, painkillers are in here. We have 16 of them, so it's fine. We'll just take some painkillers. Take some more. And continue with the exercise. Yeah, we got warm. We got warm somehow. And we'll sit on the ground. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to pause the video here while I repeat this process until we have strength level 7. Uh, be right back. Oh, I'm just going to unpause here because I remember it's Christmas. And uh, yeah, I've just been eating potatoes and taking painkillers. Uh, but since it's Christmas, maybe we should do something a little bit special. Um, I never did get to find any eggs because we needed so much foraging skill for it. Um, but we do have a party hat we can wear, and we can wash our clothes. So let's wear our party hat. And uh, let's help check how much water we have, actually. Uh, let's fill the water bottle. Uh, 385. We'll wash outside. We've got a tub outside we can wash in. Maybe we'll get a change of clothes for the party season. Let's have a good wash. I haven't washed in so long. <laughs> Look how clean we get. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> that's what our character actually looks like if we clean ourselves. Oh, dear. Okay, we should probably check out some of our clothing. We have a hole. Yeah. We have a hole in our shirt, and uh, maybe we should do some tailoring while we're here. I haven't done any tailoring since the very start of the game. Many, many episodes ago. Uh, we do have loads of leather strips. He looks so disappointed. He looks so unhappy, even wearing the party hat. Um, I guess we can cut our hair as well. Uh, maybe we should tie hair for pulled back. We should go with tied tied back hair for now. Oh, did 
Don't mean to do that. Let's uh, pull back. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. Let's change it. Untie hair. Uh, let's change it for a ponytail. Okay, we've got a ponytail. We mean serious business now. Uh, let's take some of our leather strips then, and our dirty leather strips, and some of our thread. Don't need all of it, but that's fine. Let's take our camo shirt and inspect it. Fabric need needle and thread. Oh, we don't have our bag with us. I'm so used to having the bag with us all the time. But I forget that when we don't have the bag, we don't have any of the stuff that I might need. I carried around a needle all this time, and the one time I need it, I put the bag down. Uh, so we should be able to patch the hole with a leather strip. And then we should be able to pad everything with the leather strips. So that's going to give us a little bit more protection, actually. Probably should have done that a lot earlier. Yeah, we've got some uh, upper torso protection there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's check out our pants as well then. Should be able to add leather strips to all of these. And I think we've run out of strips. Oh, I've only got the dirty ones left. We can add the three more, so we can do the pants as well. Uh, let's clean them all. And let's add them all. Okay, that's good. It's got a little bit more protection there. Probably should have collected a few more leather. A few more bits of leather. Let's eat some potatoes. Uh, actually, it's Christmas. What, what have we got we can eat for Christmas? Can we take our hat off? Where the hat? It's Christmas. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, maybe we'll treat ourselves to a block of butter. I don't know what else we could make. Um, oh, we might be able to make muffins. Let's go and check out our recipes. Uh, let's look at cooking. What can we make for Christmas? Muffin tray. Uh, we could probably make cookies, actually. Uh, maybe we should just... Uh, yeah, we can make co uh, Christmas cookies. Chocolate chip cookie dough. We need baking soda, flour, water, and some sort of chocolate chip stuff. Okay, let's get some flour. Uh, there's no flour in there. I think the flour is in here. We do have baking soda. Oh, we have cocoa powder as well. Let's grab some flour and some sugar. Anything we don't have is eggs. We could definitely try and make a cake without eggs, but... Okay, let's go to our crafting again. Can we make any cookie dough? Cookie dough. We need an empty bowl. Do we actually need a rolling pin and a baking tray? Ah, there we go. Uh, oh, we don't have any eggs. We really need eggs to make cookies. Okay, what can we make? Oh, we can make a jar of potatoes. This tells us the recipe. Oh, I guess we need sugar. We need sugar and vinegar and potatoes. Okay. Okay. Does it give us any unlocked recipes if we just stand here? I guess not. Okay, well, I guess because we don't have the the right ingredients, we can't make we can't make it. Um That's fine. We've got all this flour that's mostly useless. Uh, we could eat the tub of cocoa powder, but I don't think that's going to help us either. And we'll pop the sugar back in here. In fact, we'll take... Actually, let's take the sugar. And let's try and make a jar of potatoes, because I would really like to do that. And we can keep some for long term. Just need the one jar on the jar lid. Jar of potatoes. We need vinegar. There we go. Craft one. Jar of potatoes. Making a jar of potatoes. Get some vinegar and some sugar. And we've got a jar of potatoes uncooked. I guess we pop that in the oven. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to go off, so next time we fire the oven, that will cook. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the muffin tray back. And the sugar, I suppose, as well. Maybe... Maybe since it's Christmas, we could try and catch ourselves a fish. Take some of our worms. I think we've got some rotten fish in here. 
Yeah, we've got the rotten bait fish. I don't know. Maybe I'm being silly because it's Christmas, but we did survive five, mo five months and 19 days. Can we... Oh, I don't have the I don't have any mods installed, so I can't even dance or do anything silly. Uh, maybe we'll put the radio on. Device options turn on. There we go. Put the radio on for Christmas. Mild wind, clear skies. Tomorrow minus one, minimum minus six. Okay. All right. Well. That's enough uh, festivities, I suppose. Let's put this back in our bag. And uh, back to working out. I think I grossly underestimated how long this was going to take, by the way. We've only got 45,000 XP. We actually need 15,000 XP more. Which is... Um, another 50 sessions. I, I, I'm just guessing at that. I think it's another 50 sessions of uh, using the barbell. So I don't know how many days that's going to be, but that's going to take us through quite a while. So I'm going to pause again while I just exercise for a long time. Um, yeah, I'll, ca I'll catch you in a, in a few moments for you and quite a long time for me. Okay, kind of... Uh, and taking painkillers. And, uh, yeah, 5,300, uh, sorry, 53,000 XP. We're not even close to getting uh, 60,000. Um, but this estimate, I mean, it's going to take another 12 days, which puts us mid-January. Luckily, we stockpiled enough food for this, though. It would be really nice to get strength level 7. Um, I'm going to pull out some more potatoes. I haven't checked on the strawberries in a while. I'm pretty sure they're dead. And it's also 3.20 in the morning because we have no sleep cycle anymore. Oh, the, the, the strawberries are blooming, actually. Go and pick some of them up. We <laughs> haven't had a drink. I'm not really not looking after ourselves. Um, these ones are blooming. Wait, are they? Blooming strawberry plant. Uh, let's ha have a look at the info. 54 hours. Water levels, disease, no. Fertilize, zero. But I guess we can't harvest them for whatever reason. I don't know quite why we can't harvest them. This one has a problem. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's get back inside because it's minus 15 degrees outside. Minus 15. It's a good job we're not going outside, to be honest, because it is absolutely freezing. So we're inside now, and it's it's zero degrees, so it's getting cold up here in January. It's probably better that we just don't bother fighting for the winter. Just push through with the exercise. Uh, let's drop the empty bottles, but I want to keep the non-glass bottle. There we go. Let's drink and refill. Probably should eat something as well. I did eat both the butters, and I have just been drinking wine since then. I'll drop the gas can on the floor for now. These are still frozen. We can drink a wine. Uh, we're at the point where our exertion won't actually recover because we're tired. So at this point, I just go to bed. And this is why our sleep cycle is all messed up as well. It's actually so cold inside that we may need to move the bed into the other room. Which I can't do because I don't have a hammer. Um, yeah, I feel like we actually need to put the stove on to keep warm. Luckily we brought in all that firewood. I think that's what we're going to have to do because it is chilly. And we are, we're we wearing our like clothes. We're not wearing our full clothes, but we're wearing our... our um, we're even wearing our winter hat. Let's get this bed moved up. I don't think I can carry it as well as the barbell. I still can't carry it anyway. Might as well take the barber with us then. And 
pop the hammer back in the bag. Unless we need it to put up the bed. I don't think we do. Find out soon enough. Hospital bed, drop on the floor. Go ahead and drink some more red wine, I suppose. And then we'll just get straight back to sleep again. Anyway, this is how to survive winter. Uh, I took off the party hat as well. Um, Christmas has come and gone. It's been six, it's been six days. Okay, we are absolutely plastered. Let's go ahead and pop this bed down somewhere. Uh, we do need the hammer to put it back. Okay, fine. I was wrong. Let's get the hammer. Okay, we're just going to pop the bed in the middle of the floor in the kitchen. That seems like the best place to put it. And then we're going to have to put the, uh, the fire on. Keep ourselves warm. Which we can't do because we don't have our bag with our... You see why I keep this bag on me? With everything that I need in it. Because we just have to keep moving backwards and forwards to the bag to get things like a lighter. Uh, we do have more lighters in here though. We'll use the matches, actually. Let's use the matches. Uh, fireplace. Light the fire with toilet paper. There we go. Toasty warm. 20 degrees in here. Okay, that's a bit better. We can just go outside to do our exercise every day. Did we use all of the matches to do that? No. Uh, this, this one is the fire cupboard. Okay, let's go to sleep. The fire's going to burn for a long time, so we should be good. I suppose we burn to death in our sleep for whatever reason. Still have high exertion, I think. Let's eat some potatoes for breakfast. Take some painkillers. And I guess rest. Um, I guess it's because we're drowsy. We should probably stop drinking wine now. I think the wine is not helping. But we are on 81, so we should be able to eat potatoes for a few days. Wine is just making us more tired. We don't need the painkillers anymore because we've actually maxed out on... Um, Regularity for barbell curls. We've still got quite high regularity on squats. We should probably start doing squats and squats and barbell curls every day. Just like a little bit, maybe. Do like 60 minutes every every evening or something before we get to bed. Or no, every every morning, maybe. I don't know. It takes so long to do. It's probably not worth it. Let's go for as long as we can, anyway. And then just go back to sleep. <laughs> no sense in being awake if we can't exercise. <laughs> we still need so much XP. I'm tempted to just avoid it for now. But also going outside is problematic. And now we're really hot. Oh god, we got sunstroke. Uh, 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 whoops, error. Uh, unequip the hat. Go outside. Whoopsie, didn't mean to do that. I forgot exercising inside fully clothed in the in the fire is bad. <laughs> okay, let's cool down. Let's just have a rest on the floor. Whoops. We're gonna go from sunstroke to freezing to death. Okay. And more exercise. Eighteen degrees in here. Let's rest. I guess we could just exercise inside this room and take all of our clothes off. Now nah, it'll, it'll probably be fine. Rest up. Eat some more potatoes. Alright, I'm going to pause again here. And I will catch you in probably another six days when we're pretty close to getting strength level seven. Just wanted to uh, unpause again here. Because we're about to take over into the sixth month survived. Five months, 29 days, and 19 hours. And what are we doing? <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going mad or, or anything, but um, yeah, I've been doing this for quite a few hours now. So if you're thinking about building a character which has low strength and low fitness, I wouldn't bother. Either install a mod to level up your um, fitness and strength faster, 
or don't bother. Um, hopefully it's going to be worth it. I mean, it does give us an extra two carry weight. Uh, I'm not really sure whether this has been worth it, but we needed a lot of resources. I've used about four cans of fuel in the generator since we've been doing this. Uh, yeah, six months survived. Woohoo. <laughs> um, we're about halfway there. So this is, uh, I can't remember what episode this is, but it's been quite a few hours in game. Uh, quite a few play hours. I've recorded, I'd say I've recorded about 70, 75% of what we've done. Um, we have skipped through a few things. But yeah, we are getting there. We are very, very close now. Should be able to get there tomorrow if I eat some food. To pull out some more. The lights have all broken again. It's really, really annoying me. I took out 26 potatoes by accident. Uh, we're just going to go to sleep here. We're hungry, but it doesn't matter. We're about to get strength level 7. And then I will probably never do barbell curls again. Let's go for it. Still need a couple more. Let's eat some potatoes. Get our potato on. Just eating raw potatoes like an animal. <laughs> Literally, all we do is we get up. Yeah, another light. That click sound is a light bulb going out. All we do is we rest on this bed in our kitchen, and then we do dumbbell presses, uh, barbell curls even. There we go. We did it though. <laughs> Strength level seven. <laughs> oh, that took. Um, 11 days and I literally I haven't left this I haven't left the space we've just done barbell curls and I think we only got one carry weight from that because our standard carry weight is 14 so I think we can carry one more than we could before uh, don't know whether that was uh, worthwhile or not <laughs> but we, we will not be grinding for level 8 I can tell you that um, that's double the XP so that was uh, what was that 40 40,000 or 45,000, the next one is 90. Um, so that would be 22 days, plus we were almost always, we were almost already there anyway, so uh, I just don't think it's possible. It would take years. Um, if we do it every day and we did other stuff in between, I can see the value of it. Um, it may be worth trying to do fitness when we get a little bit closer, but I think for the moment I'm, I'm done with weight training. Let's get our backpack back on. Uh, we need to get our clothes back on, it's actually freezing really is cold outside. Firefight jacket and our socks back on. Nice and toasty warm. Um, it would be good to wear a different jacket because this one is a bit ruined. This one does give us the best protection. Just going to have a look to see if there is anything else. There's the gloves. I think our gloves are fine though. We've got the red hair dye. We could dye our hair red. Uh, I think the scarf is okay. The camo hunting vest doesn't really give us any protection. I'm not quite sure what that gives us. Can we just wear that as well? What happens if we wear that? Does that take off our... Oh, that takes off our bulletproof vest, which has really rubbish condition anyway. So maybe we just wear the camo hunting vest for now. Let's drop this in the bin. Oh, it's full. Uh, let's just delete it. All 29 bottles. So we've got camo hunting vest on. And then... I don't know what the difference is. I guess we could put long johns on. Can we wear long johns underneath everything else? Yeah, it seems like we can. It's probably going to keep us quite warm. Oh, that's given us great temperature. Probably need to take those off when we're fighting. And then... I guess that means we could take off the broken jacket. It's going to give us less protection. Firefighter jacket, take that off. So that gives us virtually no upper body protection. And we're just covered in leather patches. We've got a red and white scarf on. Aren't we the cool one? Um, yeah, okay. I think that'll have to do for now. This will be our clothing. Our protection is pretty bad. Our temperature is okay. 
I guess we should wear the long johns underneath everything else. And here we are, with our new level of strength. We can carry uh, one, one unit more. Uh, we can carry one unit more, and our... Um, uh, we still have stout. I think you need level 9 strength um, to get strong. Uh, and it gives us, I think, another 5% melee damage, which is pretty good. Um, and a little bit of chance to knock down, and a slightly higher chance to uh, climb tall fences on the first go. I'm not sure whether it was worth it or not, but we did it. Um, yeah, we did it. It is, um, if you haven't seen outside, it has just been snowing for days and days and days. Go ahead and check the roof. It is uh, Snow City out here. Absolutely Snow City. I'm going to go ahead and refill this generator. It's at 56% now. Should be able to refill it completely. Yeah, fuel 100. Emptied the gas can out. That was quite pretty perfect. And uh, no more strength training. I think that was it. That was definitely me done for strength training. Uh, let's pick up the two gas cans on the floor. Oh no, we burnt the potatoes. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I, it's the only time I've ever made jar food, uh, jarred food, and I completely forgot them. I just forgot that they were in there. Can I open them? Does that consume the lid? Oh wow, it consumes the lid. That's incredible. So not only did we waste our potatoes. Potatoes fresh. I don't even think we got to eat them. Well, that was a complete waste of a, a perfectly good jar lid. I don't know, maybe we should train fitness as well while it's cold. But I don't really want to at the moment. Um, I think I'd le rather level some of our other skills. So... Anyway, that was the that was the montage. I think I'm going to spend some time foraging outside. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time fishing, and I will catch you in I don't know, maybe maybe when the the cold weather has gone over a little bit, and we'll go and do some more looting and kill some more zombies. See if we can't do another six months of uh, six months of living and get this character up to a year. I think if we if we do get to a year, I will retire her. And uh, we'll start a new game, because I think well, by a year, I think you've pretty much done most of the things you can do in a game. Um, and this was kind of the the living outside dream, building a house and uh, being kind of self-sufficient like that. I think um, for the next game, I'd like to start somewhere harder. So obviously we started in Rosewood, which is pretty easy, which is a nice warm back, um, kind of like a warm up into the game again. Um, I think maybe we'll start in... Uh, either West Point, and I'd quite like to build a base between those buildings. That seemed like quite a cool place to build. Uh, or we'll start in Muldra, because we haven't really um, explored there at all. Um, I don't know, maybe if we do go to a year, we'll load up on all of our... If we do get to a year, we'll load up on all our ammo and head into um, this area, into the capital. So much to explore there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it gave you uh, a little bit of an insight into how much time and effort it takes to level your strength and fitness up. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.